Hi everyone, this is Tiny the Lady Strange. Welcome to day 25 of 31 Days to the Strange. Almost at the end. Wow, where has October gone? So this is going to be another movie kind of review or recommendation. And this is Bell, Book, and Candle. This gem is from 1958. It stars Kim Nowak. Novak. Yes, Kim Novak. Sorry about that. And, of course, James Stewart. So this movie is a, another great one, and I believe should be a staple in anyone's collection that's into witchcraft um, or loves those kind of movies, and love stories for that matter. Has a good storyline, typical love spell type of thing. So the synopsis of this movie, which is one of my favorites, as I mentioned, is, and that's for many reasons I'll get into. So it's about a modern day witch that lives in New York City at the time. She is at Greenwich Village, to be exact, in 1958. Um, so, yes. And, of course, basically she ends up um, meeting a guy or running into him. And his last name is Henderson. He's a publisher. So she kind of sets her sights on him. And, ooh, I'm going to get him. And I'm going to use magic to get him. Kind of that type of thing. So, at first it's kind of, and then it's kind of also partially a game because he ends up being engaged to her college rival. So, there was all the more fun and all the joy in that, in the devious of that. And why the hell not? Use magic for that, kind of a two for one thing to get your rival and to get a good, you know, a good looking guy that you're lusting after. So, she does love magic and such, and she has a familiar cat a uh, pie wacket. If any of you know about the past with witchcraft from hundreds of years ago, pie wacket is named after a supposed familiar that a witch, a supposed accused witch, um, that actually named as a familiar. So they took that from that historical reference for pie wacket was a familiar cat. Okay. And then again, it has other characters in it, like her friends that are witches, a cool witch club for the time. And the fashion in this movie, if you are like me, um, I love my fashion. Yes, you don't really see that in the videos because I film, you know, a to and around from work type of time frame. But I'm a big gal for fashion, shoes, etc. So this movie satisfies all those aspects. And of course, the love story part. So she goes through all these means and all this magic, her and her um, cohorts go through that. And she kind of gets the guy and she starts getting him and that. But the catch 22 in this is basically is she really does start getting real feelings for him. It's no longer a game and just lust, you know, lust, I want you and I'm attracted to you thing. She actually gets feelings. So that type of typical love story and theme. So basically... She goes through all that, but the catch 22 to get back to that also besides that is if in this type of story, but not reality, obviously, if a witch falls in love in, you know, her world, that basically they lose their all their witchcraft powers. So you can kind of lust and have fun, have a relationship, but if there's real love involved in that and real feelings, you lose your witchcraft and power. So that in itself is a big dilemma. Well, I'm not going to go into the rest of it. In that, you can kind of predict. Now, this movie is great not only for that, but there's a lot of fun references, fun music um, for the time, the fashion, New York City at the time, great actors, a great storyline, and great lessons about um, if you are a witch, a practitioner, or, type, or even just... Um, the different aspects of if you set your sights on someone or go to obtain something you love, um, be mindful of all the aspects, I guess. But then again, maybe something that may be a negative side of effect of it or may change your life, maybe for the positive. So if you have watched this movie, um, let me know, comment below, or you're aware of it, or it's a staple in your collection. Let me know. I'd love to hear what you think about it. If not, this is a great movie for those that are not horror fans like me, that are not into the macabre. This has got the love story in it. 
There is no blood and gore, just magic, love story, um, and some fun aspects in it. I give this one definitely also, um, like Teen Witch, for the value of all the elements of 9 out of 10. And I hope that you all like these reviews in these 31 Days of Strange. And again, stay strange and blessed be.